Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to join an Apex virtual poster session. So I just got an email with the instructions on how to join the call. So it says to follow this link and log in as a guest. So I'm going to the link and now I'm entering as a guest and my name is Jenny and I'm entering the room. We're using a system called Adobe Connect Pro um, and it's courtesy of the University of Canterbury. They're letting us use this. So you simply just go to the website, enter your name and click enter room and it will bring up um, the, the screen uh, which is a, a new pop-up menu um, to allow us to join the meeting. It's very, very easy, very quick. Um, you will see that once the, the system opens up, the very first thing that you want to do is to check your audio settings. So if you go to meeting, manage my settings, and then to the audio setup wizard, and then this will go through and make sure that um, you're able to use your microphone in case you want to ask a question. So I go to next, and now it says it's um, going to test to make sure that I can hear everyone else. So let's try that. Yep, sounds like I can hear them. So now we just need to make sure they can hear us. I am using a built-in microphone on my computer. Um, so it will go through and it will test that. So now we will just hit record and say something. And we have to allow them to, um, to connect with us. So I can see the recording bar is moving and my microphone is working properly. Um, so I can see that the recording bar is moving and my microphone is working properly. Great. Okay. So now the next step, it will test my silence. And this is to help remove any of the background noise. So let's try that. Okay. So now it automatically knows how much background noise I have in my room. It will hopefully um, control things uh, to, to eliminate that. So that's it. We're done there. So now let's enter the poster session. And you can see um, this is what it looks like. You have the poster actually here in the middle. And we'll learn more about how you can zoom in and zoom out on that. Over here you have the list of presenters. So Daniela is here as the host. And then I'm here as a participant, so just a normal guest. Um, and then you have a chat room down here. And so let's just say, hello, all. So that way they know that we're here and we're ready to get started. Hey, hello, everyone. Can you all hear me? Yep. Great. OK, I'm just going to guide you through the process of turning a S, which is uh, who is the one you logged in, um, into a chair so that you can present your post if you're online. When you logged in, you logged in as a guest. You typed in your name and logged in as a guest. This is indicated by this little blue man next to your name in the attendee list in the upper left hand corner of the screen and the chair for the session will turn you into a host. Um, just going to do that with Jenny now and you will see that how the screen changes for you and that you've got much more control with regard to presenting your poster. Jenny will now guide you through the steps of presenting a poster which will have been uploaded for you already by the session chair well before the call. Okay, great. So now in order to talk, I have to push down here on the bottom left, uh, hold to talk. So you can see that I now have a little um, speaker that you can hear me talking. And if Daniela can hear me, hopefully she'll write in the chat box that she can hear me. And then we can go forward. Great. So now you'll see that you have the poster in front of you, and this acts just like a regular Adobe uh, PDF. You can zoom in, and you can zoom out. You can move to different parts of the screen. Um, and if you zoom in, of course, then you can move left to right um, in, your, in your presenter. You can also put an arrow, so if there's something you want to point at, if you look down at the bottom, there's a little pointer. And so if I want to say, 
look at South Korea had four members and then you can see the little pointer show up on the screen. Um, it's quite simple. Um, you can easily um, move around your poster and tell people more about um, the great things that you're doing research-wise as well as put in um, some of the graphs and, and all kinds of different different things that you're working on with your poster. Some tips. Um, you'll see that I, I'm talking here and if you look down in the lower left hand corner when I want to stop talking I need to let go of the control button um, so that there's not two people talking at the same time. So now I'm going to let go and Daniela is going to take over talking. Okay, so Jenny switched off her microphone, which avoids the feedback. And this is what you should pay attention to when you hand over microphone rights to other people who may have questions about your poster. Normally after you've presented a poster, you head over to the audience, who are all logged in as guests, to, to ask questions. And they can raise a hand, as Jenny can now do. Okay, we're raising Just to illustrate it. And my hand is raised. So when Jenny raises her hand, the little icon will come up on your screen and you can give her the microphone rights. And Jenny is going to illustrate that now by turning me into a guest. So I'm going to turn Daniela into a guest. Uh, we'll click on her name. And now she's just a regular guest. And so what will happen is I'll go up here and I can give her the microphone rights. So I just go to her name and I click on microphone and now she should be able to um, to speak. You can see there's a little microphone now that showed up by her name. So Daniela now has the microphone rights. Um, I will now, however, move her back to a host because she um, she's our, our tutor here on this great virtual poster session. So I'm going to turn her back into a, a host by clicking on her name. And then this little icon here, set user role. And now she's set as a host. And she's back. And I'm going to unraise my hand. And we're ready. So that's um, a quick and easy way on how to control and give other people different rights once you have that. For those of you who are just attending a virtual poster session, you won't have to worry about any of that, but you will see the little microphone show up when the host has given you the microphone so that you can talk. And then again, you just hold down on your talk button, which is down in this lower left hand, lower left hand corner of your screen, and then let go of it when you no longer want to talk. So that concludes our quick tutorial of how to join an Apex virtual poster session. Uh, uh, any last words from Daniela? No, I think you covered it all pretty well. And as many of you will be able to see, it is really a quick and easy process. And there will be a chair for each session who will help you along and assist you in any, with any technical problems you may encounter. But seeing that we've tried this system for quite a while now, it is really straightforward and you can try it out for yourself even before you present the poster. So that would be my last point of advice. Once the poster session is up and you receive the email with the URL, go in and log in and familiarize yourself with the setup again and already test your audio as Jenny has shown you initially. Once again, it's really straightforward, and we look forward to seeing you presenting your posters. Thanks. And that concludes our quick uh, tutorial of how to join an Apex virtual poster session. So thank you very much, and we look forward to working with you to help shape the future of Polar Research.